tonight who spoke with the family. Paul? Tom Michelle, the family member I spoke with this morning, said he felt like the decision to deny Jorge's visa showed a, quote, lack of consideration and empathy from the embassy, end quote. The Gonzalez family says they were able to secure an emergency meeting for Jorge at the U.S. Embassy in Ecuador this morning, but that officials denied Jorge's application for a humanitarian visa to come to the United States. Jorge is the only Gonzalez family who is still alive. His brothers and sisters died in a tragic car crash in Wapaca County last month. Jorge has lived in Ecuador since 2018, his family desperately trying to bring him to Wisconsin so that he can grieve with his family. This is the second time that officials have denied Jorge's application to come to the United States. There really isn't really words to sort of describe what, what I personally feel at this moment. I think that really just at the current moment that we're dealing with and grief of, you know, losing our cousins and then on top of this, the whole legal procedures and really all a whole new world of information we've had to deal with just to get denied again um, has just been mentally exhausting. The Gonzalez family tells me that after this latest setback, they are pausing for a moment to consider their options. They said they plan to have a burial in Ecuador in a few weeks for the four siblings. And at this point, they're looking at more long-term options to bring Jorge to the United States so he can be with his mother. Tom, Michelle.